Cone Bone Juan, good evening dwellers. It is I, Logan Mad Titan, and welcome to episode 9 of Fallout 4 Modded, Outcast and Remnants. And I'm excited to pick up here, right in front of uh, Sam Axe, aka Chuck Finley, aka Bruce Campbell from Burr Notice. Also Ash, somewhere in here from the Evil Dead. That's who this gentleman's supposed to be here. And uh, we are not turning in a quest to him. We can talk to him again just for fun, though, to see what's up. What's up, Chuck? Hey. Hey there. Something I can help you with? Uh, tell me about you guys. We did all that barter. I can I can buy th some things from him. I don't need anything for now. I don't need anything. Got it. Actually, he did say... Hey there. Work. Something I can help you with? Got any work? Got any work? Not at the moment, but I'll let you know if something comes up. All right. I don't need anything. Got it. And I see I still have the silly vault tech outfit on. Wait, who's this? Oh my god. All right, so... And I tried to talk to this hey kid before, who I'm pretty sure is Peter from... He has the same voice as Peter from Fallout City... Uh, from Fallout City, from Fusion City Rising. Fiona is another character from Burn Notice. There's Michaels, the main character, and then Sam who normally uses the uh, alias Chuck Finley and Fiona. So does Fiona have any dialogue? <clears throat> the pretty one is a piece of work. Who designs a ship like that and forgets to arm it with weapons? <laughs> okay. So, that was cute. And Fiona is extremely thin. So they tried to give her a very similar build to the actress that plays Fiona. Uh, yeah, I'm not particularly happy with what I'm wearing right now. Let's see if they stole my clothes along with my gun, because I don't know what happened to my gun. Alright, there's my farmhand clothes and my cowboy hat. I have no idea why I have so many armor chest pieces and stuff. I must have been picking up something at some point in time. I do have, uh, yeah, the tactical toupee. <laughs> that... Oh god, do I even want to put this on? Alright, let's throw it. Let's look at it. Replace my cowboy hat. Let's throw this on for a second. Let's see. I don't remember what button. No. Put the gun away. What button do I hit to change? I don't remember how to freaking. Nope, I can't remember how to. Excuse me. Hey there. Something I can help you with? Tell me about the people in your oh, division. Oh, there's the hair. If you want a little more history about our order, you can... Oh, Jesus. Alright, so there's, there's the hair. For some reason, I can't remember how to go in the third person, which is kind of embarrassing. But, what else is new? <laughs> I keep going back and forth from these games, and, and then my brain turns to mush, and I can't remember how to do basic things. Alright, so let's go turn in the quest. We have a bunch of quests to turn in. And let's find, I don't even remember who we're turning in. Was it the guy in here? Yeah, this gentleman in here is who we're turning in the quest. Jesse Porter. Now, now I remember Jesse is a character from Burn Notice as well. He doesn't come till uh, later on in seasons. Um, but yeah, Jesse is a character. I, my brain didn't click the first time I talked to him. All right. Hey, Jesse. <clears throat> Congratulations on completing the mission. The scouts radio in that you also found a working teleporter and acquired the schematics. I can't imagine what you must have gone through to obtain those. Yeah, I got the schematics. Uh, I've been having too much fun blowing things up to think about it. Well, this changes things for you. It all worked out in the end. I'm going to use the pick the funny answer. I've been having too much fun blowing things up to think about it. The prospect of teleportation changes everything. I'm going to spend some time with my team reviewing the schematics. Check back in a couple of days and we'll discuss the next steps. Okay. So... No more quests. Just for fun, let's try to talk to him again. See, Aye. the Brotherhood of Steel may view themselves as liberators, but the people of the Commonwealth don't see it that way. Talk to Mike McBride. Oh, ask Nate in the BOG bunker for work. Okay, so we got that opened up some other things. I don't know who Mike McBride is. Oh, wait, I think that's the leader guy. Right? It's been a while since I talked to him. When I get off duty, that Salisbury steak is mine. Yeah. <laughs> mmm, Salisbury steak. Yeah. Hey, Mike. 
I worked, yeah, because I remember I said I had worked with a guy named Mike McBride. Ahem. <clears throat> nice job retrieving those teleportation schematics. You mind if I borrow you for a minute? You can borrow me anytime, baby. Schematics. Uh, <laughs> have you got something for me? Oh, that's a loaded question. I don't have time to talk right now. I might. Depends on what you have. You have something for me? You have something for me? By the way, my name's Mike. I handle various intel and asset recovery missions around here. I was thinking that while Jesse and his team are analyzing the teleport schematics, we could get a jump start on the next steps to this project. You see, we've been contemplating a teleportation mass transit system for quite some time now. I'm not sure what you mean. It's our belief that most of the Commonwealth's major problems can ultimately be traced back to a lack of reliable transportation infrastructure. In theory, if there were a safe and efficient public transit system to move both people and supplies almost instantly over long distances, that would be a game changer and open the door to finally addressing some of the Commonwealth's underlying problems. Clean water and power, new construction, fire, police, and emergency services, you name it. Dependable transportation is the cornerstone to making all that possible. But no choo-choos? Are you actually letting me choose my own dialogue here? Because I didn't have a choice last time. Uh, that all sounds impressive, but can you build it? Enough preaching already. I get it. Can we move this along? Sounds good. What do I sign up? Uh, yeah, we're going to go Y again. That all sounds impressive, but can you build it? We think the best bet is to convert some of those Pulowski preservation shelters you see all over the place into working teleportation pods. To keep the logistics simple, each teleport pod would transport the traveler to a central hub. And from the central hub, a person could teleport to another pod almost anywhere in the Commonwealth. But if we're going to build a network of teleporters, the first thing we'll need is a ton of supplies. Also, to make this a safe form of travel, we'll need to clear out certain hostile factions from the areas surrounding the teleport pods. No one's going to use a transit system that teleports you into a pack of feral ghouls. Makes sense to get rid of the trash. Anyway, once we have the supplies and have secured the travel hubs, we can start converting the Pulowski shelters into teleport stations. That is, assuming that Jesse and his team can make sense of the schematics. In the meantime, I've put together a list of parts and supplies we'll need, as well as areas to clear. A couple other teams are handling the more easily obtainable stuff. But I've left the high-value parts for someone with your, shall we say, resourcefulness. So what do you think? Are you interested in helping us out on this? Do you need a, a bunch of screws that I could get from fans? Is that what you're going to need? Can you give me some screws, please? Uh, I don't mind danger as long as I get paid. You need me more than I need you. Sounds like a waste of time. Sounds up my alley. Sounds up my alley. All right. Here are the parts we need and the locations to clear. Good luck out there. You can never have enough ammunition. I would still rather Pricey build a choo-choo. Okay, so they've given me a uh, hello table. Or big giant stone thing. They've given me multiple new quests. So there was that one and there was also excess baggage. Nate. Alright, so let's pop that bad boy on real quick. Where is Nate? Nate's over here. He's in the clinic? Not in the clinic. Got a long list of fixes to get you out here. Cafeteria. So hey, Nate. You look... You have the same haircut as the other guy. Uh, <clears throat> how's it going? Got any work? In conversation, your thoughts? Got any work? Got any work? Actually, I do. One of our crew went missing. A woman named Shannon. She takes care of all the maintenance around here. You've probably seen her around. Nah. She's got blue overalls, auburn hair, big, uh... Well, she's kind of hard to miss, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yep. We're choosing that option. She does have a nice booty. And I am a booty man. Couldn't agree more. Such an ass. Anyways, we needed some parts and equipment <laughs> for the bunker. I told Shannon to make a list and we'd send out a retrieval team. But last time we tried that, they all came back with the wrong parts. So Shannon insisted on going this time. Our best scouts have been out searching for teleporter equipment, so I sent one of the newbies to escort her. Their first stop was supposed to be the Makra fishing plant up north. Figured they might have some ventilation equipment we've been looking for. Oh, that Shannon. So this is just a fishing expedition? That place smells terrible. <laughs> uh, I already cleared that place out. That place smells terrible. Yeah, and did you know about the terrible smell over there? Sheesh. You were supposed to radio in to give a status update. But He's just ignoring me. 24 hours with no word. 
In the Commonwealth, that's a really bad right, sign. let me go through. And you need me to bail your ass out. Yeah. That's a colorful way of putting it, but yeah. It's on me for only sending one soldier to a school. Let me Shannon. go save Shannon. I'd go after him myself, but I've got to stay here and deal with this teleporter Poo -poo. shit. This doesn't seem like a priority. Sorry, sounds rough. Skip the part where this has anything to do with me. I'm used to handling big missions, the important ones. Uh, uh, most of these are not nice. I guess we're going to go extant. Sorry, sounds rough. Sorry. Sounds rough. Shannon's an essential member of our team. She knows her job better than anyone else. And, well, besides being hard to replace, she's been with us long enough to become a real friend. Will you please help me out? You just missed that booty, Nate. I know it's up. You just missed that booty. I don't do work unless I'm... <laughs> I know who's paid the bills. You're in luck. No thanks. Y yeah, I'll find her. Don't worry. I got I'll you, bro. Her. I really appreciate it. Here's a list of the parts they were looking for. I'll mark the destination Shannon was headed on your map. Booty man to booty Please man. make sure she makes it home all right. Big bad booty daddy. Investigate macro fish packing plant for Shannon's whereabouts. Yep, we're doing that first for sure. We're going to look for that booty. All right. There's a staircase. There's a booty. Carla. You're not the right booty, though. Get out of my way. Carla. Bogging the stairs. All right. Just going to double check. Make sure he doesn't have anything else. Hey there. Hey there. Something I can help you with? Yeah, I like how you're playing with that knife over there. Got any work? Got any work? Not at the moment, but I'll let you know. All right. I don't need anything. Got it. Let me out of dialogue, please. Thank you. Hi, bye. Hey Peter. There. Bye, Peter, too. Hi there. Hey there. Yeah, that's 100% Peter's voice. I wish he had more dialogue, though. Peter was Peter was fun in Fusion City Rising. Fun companion. I'm sure people that don't have kids might might have found him annoying because kids are kind of annoying but when you have kids and you love kids then they don't seem as annoying best way I can explain it all right where, where am I going here spinning around all right so this general direction I love that the map is in the pit boy and I hate that it's not in 76 oh, all the way up here I couldn't remember what that was uh, let's go to the Nakano residence first just for fun my that's a big brain you have there mr. robot man bom, chicka, bom, bom. robot brains all right Ugh, it's nighttime and that's a railing I can't just walk through things I don't know why I wanted to come here rather than just fast travel to the plant but for some reason I did. So here we are. We're gonna enjoy the beautiful night sky. I mean it's not far away at all. We can see it. It's not like when I'm playing 76 and I have to walk a million miles sometimes to try to get places because I have not discovered every uh, location. So <laughs> a lot of times I'd have to go somewhere it's like uh, nice. I'm nowhere near close to that. Been having that problem in this Skyrim modded uh, series too, because I had to start a completely new playthrough uh, to do that, and uh, I've done no vanilla, so I'm just doing the mod, and it's an amazing series. Uh, way more people watch this series, and if you're watching this series, I I thank you from the bottom of my heart, sincerely. Hey, it's a ghoul. And I still do not have my white... Like, this totally looks like my weapon, but this is a shotgun. This is this is so sad that I lost my gun. I should have, in between videos, remade my gun. Because... I like quiet boom-booms. And... Uh, ones that kill things quickly. <laughs> Unlike it, it, I mean, this would kill probably kill things quickly. Uh, night vision quad barrel missile launcher. What in the world? What is that even? Oh my god, it's so big. And I missed, which is hilarious. All right, there. I didn't miss that time, but this it's just so big. Becky, oh my god, her butt is just so big. Yeah, I can't, I can't. Like, what's a plasma sniper rifle look like? And eh, maybe we'll try this. 
I distracted myself as usual. I ramble and then I lose my own train of thought. So I was saying the uh, Skyrim mod series. I'm, I'm absolutely in love with that mod and really, really enjoying it. But because I've not done vanilla, I've not been to most of the major cities. So when it wants me, like it just wanted me to go to Markarth, uh, I've not been there. And that's kind of a trek. You know, it's all, all, all the way over in the westernmost, west northern corner of the map. So if you've not been there before, then it's kind of a pain in the butt to get to. And, I, you know, not necessarily fun watching me just walk across the map for 40 minutes in a video. Alright, so it looks like, what is it normally here, Raiders? Can't remember what's normally here. It's weird how like this stuff's all respond, but in a lot of the places the enemies have not respond. So I'm curious if they're going to be inside or not, because inside is I can't remember. Is it raiders or is it ghouls? There was a ghoul outside, so is it normally ghouls inside? Fish packing plant would make me think Mire lurks, but. I'm almost positive it's not Meyer Lurks. Alright, so they want me to go up. And I see a mine. Yeah, I couldn't remember if I had that soft step perk or whatever it's called where you can not sit off mines. I do. I don't really need to loot. I loot a lot in the areas that are part of the mod mod made areas I'm going up to the roof this is not a mod made area this is a vanilla area so there's not really no point no point to loot here and what's on the roof I don't want her to be dead hopefully she's not dead that would bum me out never trust the big button to smile alright I don't see Anybody? Oh no. It's a quest marker and it looks like it's on the ground. She's dead, isn't she? No. It's a holotape. Shannon's Pip Pad Diary. <laughs> like I took it by God. I hit X to play. Oh, we're reading. I for some reason I thought I was gonna be listening. Road trip. Looking forward to getting out of the bunker for the for a bit. Even if it's just to look for scrap. My list includes plumbing parts, HVAC equipment, explosive charges, turbo pump bearings, and a dishwasher dryer parts. My ulterior motive backfired though. When I insisted to go along on the expedition, I was sure Nate would be my escort. All I really wanted was some quality alone time with him. But that guy can't take a hint. I've tried standing close, giggling, licking my lips, twirling my hair, Accidentally brushing against him, laughing at his silly jokes, teasing him, borrowing his stuff, bringing him snacks. I figured my outfit might finally get his attention. My boobs are practically hanging out of this thing. But all I get in return is snarky comments from the handy robot. So now I'm stuck with this new guy, Silva, as my escort. Excess baggage, as far as I'm concerned, I can handle myself out here. I always worry, though, when heading out that someone is going to recognize me from my past life. It's been 10 years and several hundred miles away, but I'm not sure how the others would react if they found out where I'm from. Interesting. Makra Fishing Fish Packing Plant. This location is a bust and none of the ventilation equipment works. The smell should have been a giveaway going to head up to the roof to see if anything is usable up here. Notice something strange. All the raider corpses here look like clones of each other. <laughs> and the entry wounds appear to be from energy weapons. Quite a view. Figures. None of the HVAC equipment up here on the roof is salvageable. Nice view of the Commonwealth though. Silva spotted a gunner camp up on the freeway. Uh oh. What the hell is he doing? Mayday. Investigate gunner overpass mentioned in Shannon's diary. Silva got the bright idea to start shooting at the gunners across the way. They returned fire and took him out. Now they're headed this way. I'm ditching my pip pad and hiding this whole tip in case some friendly finds it. Hope I've deleted all my embarrassing pics and diary journals. If you find this, look west. You'll see a freeway with a camp on top. That's where the gunners came from. Okay. Gunners slash... Enclave, 
dudes. So where are we going? Over here. And is Silva's body up here? Is this Silva? Oh, yeah, there's Silva. There's a snipey snipey. But why shotgun shells? Anything else useful? Meh. Alright. He got knocked right out of his chair. <laughs> Ouch. Alright, so we're going... Going fishing again. We're going fishing again. We're going fishing for gunners. Oh, there's something over there. Hmm. It's supposed to be going over there, but I'm drawn to the light. Like a moth to the flame. I'm burned by the fire. That's the way love goes. Right, Janet? All right. Sometimes there's super mutants here. I remember fighting super mutants on this bridge. What was that over there? Out of the corner of my eye, I saw this 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 uh, cone fall over. <laughs> I don't know why it fell over. It's so quiet. There's nothing here. When I was doing uh, New Vegas mods, I had at one point in time, I think it was like three or four mods I put on, where the whole point of the mods was oh this is coastal cottage this is a settlement i gotta remember this is like a settlement that i that i never did anything with at all it's just like it's like a completely pointless settlement but yeah i'd put like four or five mods on hey guys you uh you uh you just hanging out up here wow that was absolutely terrible Why is there a raider veteran hanging out with the gunners? Don't you die on me! Alright, so that's weird. Gunners and raiders are hanging out together? That was a gunner, the first one I caught. Killed, right? No, that's a raider veteran. Where'd the girl go? Where am I hiding? I guess I thought she was a gunner because that's totally a gunner chess piece, isn't it? No, I guess not. It looked it looked gunnerish. Right, I don't like this gun. Dear Lord, I'm super picky about the weapons that I like to use. Well, if you're so picky, then you should have remade the gun uh, in between videos, like you said. Yes, you're right. I should have. Quick draw, advanced radium rifle. Oh God. Overcharged plasma sniper rifle. I mean, that's similar to what I'm using right now. Let's try this one. Is that is that, is that a that's a, that's a death claw? Oh, uh, oh Jesus! All right. Well, that was much better. If I can one shot a death claw with this bad boy, this is much. Much better. Oh, Poor Yagwai. Don't take the... You're not playing 76. You don't need the meat. What does it matter with you? Yodis? This, was he, like, really damaged? I didn't see... I didn't vats him, so I didn't see. But I'm guessing he was really damaged from taking out three Yagwais. I would have liked to have watched that fight. That would have been pretty fun. Alright, so how do I get up here? Trying to shave Shannon. Shave Shannon. I'm not trying to shave Shannon. <laughs> I'm trying to save Shannon with the big old booty. How do I get up here, though? Is that a lift over there? Yeah, I have other quests to turn in with to the pimps and the players. Yeah, this is a lift. I thought this was a lift. All right, so we can get up, get upstairs, start taking some dudes out. 
Let's see if I could use the elevator correctly this time. Last time I used the elevator, I was somehow failed to use an elevator correctly. Alright. Anybody over here? Nope. Anybody over here? An Assaultron Dominator? What in the world? Alright, stand still. Oh, boy. Alright, I thought these were... <laughs> I thought these were supposed to be gunners. These are not gunners. These are not gunners. And I fell. <laughs> Those are not gunners. And I fell. That's hilarious. Alright. Let me get back up there. Alright, let's try this again. Jesus. Saltrons. Sentry butts. Listen, stop shooting me. Nah, I can't see. That was a big explosion. What, is they invisible? Is, oh, that's the Assaultron. You know what? Guess what? I have grenades. Alright. Oh, boy. I enjoy killing you guys because you kill me in 76 pretty regularly. Where, where are they? Oh, there you are. Where is he going? You're running away from me. So I was one dude and two robots. And this is not Shannon. This is not Shannon. Note from Trimboli. Who the hell is Trimboli? Note from Trimboli. Trimboli. <laughs> oh god. Sweet. Sweet. All right. Note from Trimboli. Let's see what this is about. I know where things are. Note from Trimboli. Note from Trimboli. Yeah. Have I mentioned, like, in every episode, like I normally do, that uh, how much I love the new <laughs> section in Fallout 76? Uh, yeah. So why don't you clean this out? You know, I, I meant to do that as well. And for some reason, I, I uh, zoned and did not. All right. Hey, Rafferty. Who the hell is Rafferty? We're headed to see Whitmore at Vault 75. Found this hottie over to Makara after her bodyguard started shooting at us. I just wanted to not say that and snatch her pip pad, but Crowder says he 100% recognizes her. So now we've got to follow procedure and bring her in or stay here and guard the overpass. I put this note in the cooler for a reason. Don't touch my trucking pills. All right. Vault 75. Vault 75. I don't... What's Vault 75? Vault 75. For some reason, I don't remember what Vault 75 is. Where is Vault 75? Is that the one under the high school? I guess I'll find out when I get there. I can't remember what Vault 75 is. It's been many years since I played Vanilla Fallout, and I've only just recently started back... Vanilla Fallout 4. I've only just recently started back playing, and I've only been playing mods, so some of the vanilla stuff, stuff is uh, not in my brain. Is this the, is this the school? No, it's a, it's a jail? This is the one under the school, right? Yeah. Malden Middle School Basement. Okay, so I'm not totally crazy. I still don't remember. I remember there was a vault here. <laughs> I don't remember what was in the vault. I'm guessing it's a gunner vault, which makes sense, because now we're looking for gunners things. So this is that whole storyline where they said that... Uh, 
the gunners were created in this vault. Thus the whole gunner jammy jam over there. All right. So how is this going to work? There's going to be new people in here. Not nude. New people in here. If there was nude people in here, I'd be in trouble because then the video would get restricted. There should be new people in here because they're having me come here for the mod. Like that gentleman right there. The commander. Oh, pop, pop. Once you pop, you can't stop. That was... That was delicious. Did you dweller see that? And this is, I'm going to guess, from when I had been through here previously. And the bodies have not despawned. And I'm creepy, apparently, because as you see, I have a fascination with popping people's heads and stripping their bodies. And this has not respawned. Awesome. So I'm going down? Yeah, I vaguely, it's starting to, like... The juices are starting to flow in my brain. I'm starting to like vaguely remember what it looks like down here. Just a little bit. Just a wee little bit. Lower level. Yeah, but once we finish saving Shannon with the big old booty, maybe then we will pop pop. Yeah, you guys want to just keep standing still? Oh, dang it. Well, that one wasn't a pop-pop. Very disappointing. Uh, we'll maybe turn in those other quests to the pimps and to the players. To progress those storylines. Story Me talking good words today. Those storylines as well. Alright, so now it wants me to go up. So yeah, they definitely added a couple new people in here. Not a ton. This would be probably a lot harder if the original people were still alive. And new people were here. Alright, so I have to go up. I don't remember... 100% how to go up. I noticed that little area off over here. What What's a gunner mixed? I'm not sneaking. <laughs> this whole time I'm not sneaking. Oh my god, I thought I was sneaking. Well, no wonder I got spotted so quickly when I'm not sneaking. Alright, so what we got? A mercenary and a mixed. I'm confused about the mixed. How did I miss that? Alright, well, it was fun while it lasted. Bye. Bye. Yeah, what's a mixed? Huh. Don't really get the, uh, like the little, uh, terrible playground over there. For the kids to play in. Alright, how do I get up? Where I just where's stairs? Stairs. Does anybody know where the stairs are? Is this stairs? This looks starry. It is. Scary starry. Alright. The way it wants me to go more? Oh, to the overseer's office, I'm guessing. Nobody else is here though? That was it? That's all they added in? <coughs> Anybody else? I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> well, that was a fail. How do I get in there? From, from here? I'm trying to remember. I don't think I can make that jump. Okay. So somebody remind me. How do I get up there then? Alright, let's put the gun away. There's nobody around. 
Stop sneaking. I can make that jump. I'm almost positive. Because if not, then I don't remember how I'm supposed to get up there. Alright, where am I? Get up on the railing. Get up on the railing. And... Jump. Yeah. That wasn't that hard. How did I miss that the first time? Alright, well there's gotta be somebody up there in the room with her protecting her, right? So, let's take that dude out, or dudette. Oh my god. This is <laughs> this is the first mission all over again. The first mission of this mod. If you have not watched this series from the beginning, please go back and watch the first episode. Because uh, it's hilarious. Because I'm looking for an adult-themed baseball bat. And it's this. It's this. It's literally it's a wild goose chase. Like, I have to go to, like, eight different places before I find said adult baseball bat. Alright, now I'm reading Whitmore's Diary. And there's quite a few entries in here as well. Playground renovation. The squad here keeps bugging me about converting the playground into a second shooting range. Problem is the playground equipment won't fit in the vault elevator. How'd they ever get it down here in the first place? Wiley, the most vocal about needing a new shooting range, I tasked him with finding some power tools to cut the metal into pieces. Of course, now he, that there's actual work involved, he's been dragging his feet. That Wiley. Oh, I have to remember how to say this now. Uh, I can't remember how to say it. Cockatooey? Cockatooey Bunker? We're not getting response from headquarters at Cockatooey Bunker. Sending a team to investigate. Yes, because I murdered everybody to death there. Me and Ash. New hostage. Crowder brought a hostage here named Shannon. Says he recognizes her from 10 years ago. Used to... <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I guess I could say that. Banger mom Anna at Raven Rock and swears Shannon used to live there. Still no response from Enclave headquarters at Lake Cockatooey when I sent the message asking what to do with her. Truck it. On second thought, we'll just sell her with a rack like that. Some slavers gotta be willing to pay handsome. Some for her, maybe she'll net enough caps to finally get some decent power tools around here. So he's gonna trade. Oh, well, this guy is definitely. I'm gonna enjoy killing him. Found a buyer. After seeing, find Sloan and acquire the cybernetic pain inhibitor. Oh, okay. Uh, after seeing the pics we transmitted, the Vice Kings, a slaver gang down in Providence, have agreed to purchase Shannon. They dispatched a courier, some hotshot bounty hunter guy named Cameron Sloan, to transport the merchandise down there. We moved Shannon to the Vitaly Pump House near Hub City Auto Wreckers for the hostage exchange. Rooney is going to handle it from there. I asked the Vice Kings for caps or power tools as payment. They promised something even better. Cybernetic pain inhibitors. Might as well take it. Sloan should be arriving at the exchange location shortly. Okie dokie. Hmm. Interesting. And then... Oh, no, that made it worse. Now we can see the way that we were actually supposed to get up here, since clearly the way that I did it was incorrect. Alright, so there was multiple different ways to get up here, rather than me jumping across the way that I jumped across. This is how I jumped across, and then I could have went down here. Down here. And then out of here. Alright. What? Oh, I found somebody. Get some! Where are they? Oh, uh, just regular gunners? That's kind of disappointing, actually. Watch me miss a thousand shots. The lighting is doing some weird funkiness. Funky lighting.
Did I actually get lost in here? I think I, think I might have got lost in here. Because I tried to go a different way than I came in. Oh, fiddlesticks. That's annoying. Alright, this is where I just killed them. Okay, yeah, I remember that. That's where they trained them in there. Okie dokie. And this is what rocks. So this is not the way that I'm going either. Alright, so this was kind of not a way to get out of here. There's the elevator. I found it. So it looks like we're gonna get to kill some slavers. That's always fun. That's kind of the first thing I like to do. Anytime I go back and replay like three, is I go right to uh, what you call it, that town with the. I'm picturing it, but I can't remember the name of it. Where all where all the slaves are and, and murder all the slavers. I've never done an evil playthrough of Fallout 3. I finally bit the bullet after like a decade of playing Fallout New Vegas and and I and I did a like a kill all evil playthrough for New Vegas. But yeah, I've never done that for Fallout 3. It's kind of weird. All right, so we are now headed to Relay Tower OMC 810. Okay, it's not that far away, but we'll fast travel there anyway. I'd hope to turn in those other quests, but this Shannon with the big booty. Sensor alert. Anomaly detected. Yep. Come on. What you got? You got a minigun? Well, that was fun. He had two Saltrons with him. What the heck? Crazy. Alright, so I, I also happen to notice that... Uh, give me those. Alright, so I'm going to be posing as Sloan. Is that the plan? I think that's the plan. Alright, cool. So where is that? Right. Hub City Auto Wreckers. Let's get Shannon back. Maybe I'll be able to turn in those quests. Running a little low on time. I don't know if I ever finished my point for er, from earlier, but uh, if you're watching this series, I greatly appreciate it. Oh, and we're immediately... I guess that's what I get for... <laughs> Let's run away just for a minute. I guess that's, that's what I get for uh, fast traveling directly to... I lose my whole stealth edge. Alright, so we'll hide up here just for a minute, so that way I can come in and stealthily take a couple of them out at least. Yeah, if you're watching this series, I sincerely appreciate it if you subscribe let me know YouTube normally does not that way I can give you a shout out if you'd like one uh, consider checking out the 
Skyrim Rigmarole Brood uh, modded series because I think the story in that is amazing. I'm not saying it's better than this. It's different because it's, it's Skyrim, obviously. It's not Fallout 4, but uh, I really I have a lot of fun. I mean, I'm kind of goofy here. But I think I'm way more goofy in that series. And I really, because I'm just really into the story, so I'm just having a, a ton of fun with it. Okay, so we're going to have to fight our way through here. Alright, so the gunner captain's up there. Not anymore. Hello, goodbye. Wait, where'd he go? What is happening? I like those one-shot kills. There we go. It's not a one-shot kill, but all right. And I see somebody all the way up here. They almost fell. All right, they see me now. All right, fine. We'll do some bats. Ooh, he shrugged that off. You shrugged it off. I dropped him. He dead. Oh no, he's still not there. He's just falling down. You been drinking on the job there? All right, there's a lot of guys here. God, I hope there's a bounty on you. Yeah, you can guys can just come to me. This is still not anywhere as good as my previous gun. A brigadier. Anybody else? I mean, clearly there is, but where are they? I see just two more blips, that's it? And one of them says they're up here, but I don't see them. Where you at? Oh, there you are. Dang it. No, I'm not. You can't even find me. <laughs> uh, that really should have worked. Reveal yourself. Oh well, I can't seem to take them out from where I am for some reason. I was just trying to have some fun. Get some. Get some. Where? Where are you? Who's shooting at me? Oh, you? <laughs> I like how they just keep falling down. This but gun must have a knockback or something like that effect. I thought I was going to pose a Sloan and trade the stuff. But apparently not. Secret of the ooze. Alright, so where am I going here? He wants me to go down? Contact lost. Down, but like over here down. Enemy combatant reacquired. Weapons free. Where are you? Alright. Why is it why is it telling me to go over here? Clearly, I misunderstood exactly where I was supposed to be going. Is 
Where in the world? Down here? Hey, what's up, player? Hey, Rooney. Uh, <clears throat> Hold up there. This is government territory. Unless you got an appointment, turn around and leave. <laughs> Matter of fact, I do have an appointment. Is this how you treat everyone, or is it just me? Fine, I'll come back later. I'm not here to cause any trouble. Uh, sure, I have an appointment. Matter of fact, I do have an appointment. Oh, really? And I suppose you're Cameron Sloan, the bounty king of New England? Yep, that's me. Is there a problem? Drug dance down the road, junkie. If you know what's good for you, you'll take your field trip back across the bridge before I have to get snooty. What? You don't believe me? It's true. Right. And I'm John Henry Eden. Sorry, pal, but you don't exactly match the description. Sloan's got a rep for never being late, and rendezvous time was an hour ago. Yeah, the line at the car wash was super long. Took me forever. <laughs> if you're Sloan, then you know the deal. One hostage for one shipment of cybernetic pain inhibitors. You got them or not? Come on, let me in. Can I pay with my charge card? I don't suppose to take a check. I've got the pain inhibitors right here. Yep, got it right here. Well, color me confused as a fart in a fan factory. You really do have them. I think I owe you an apology, sir. I mean, I didn't think I was talking to you. The real you, that is. You know I'd never deliberately insult you like that, right? Whatever, not like I care anyway. I'll leave you to it. I don't have any time for this. Get lost. Can't leave any witnesses time to die. You know what? Yeah. Nothing personal, but I can't leave any witnesses. Time to die. Oh, hell to the fuck no. Really? Did it just say that it took <laughs> it took the pain inhibitors from me when I just I just killed the guy that I was giving the pain inhibitors to, so why Whoa! What in the world? Where did you come from? <laughs> Wait, why did I just... Where in the world? Where in Ghoulville did that ghoul come from? Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I lost the pain inhibitors. Because I killed the guy I was supposed to give the pain inhibitors to. Alright, so it looks like we'll be not to be turning in those other quests this episode my apologies we will definitely get to that in the next episode all right so there's gas here i don't like this uh let's get rid of that gas all right please stop burning now fire go away thank you and no use wait what yeah, I remember her with... Yeah, I wouldn't have... The booty wasn't what I noticed with her. Uh... Uh... One, zero, four, five, one. Okay. How do I do zero, though? Oh, ten, you idiot. <laughs> Those are bugging out. One zero four five one. That's why are they bugging out? One four. I mean, that's literally in in the in the order. But now it looks like there's a 12? What is happening? With the numbers. Is this a bug? I think we might have encountered a first bug here. Cause I don't I don't know what what in the what in the bejesus is happening with these. So I might have to play with something in between videos to see if I can figure this to work because something weird is definitely happening with that. And with that being said, if you made it with me this far into the video, as I've said I think at least twice I greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. 
not trying to be corny or cheesy, but if you choose to spend this time with me, I really do appreciate it. Maybe check out the Skyrim series, or not. It's totally fine if you don't. Just a suggestion. I think it's really good. Um, I try really hard to make the videos uh, fun and authentic. This is me. This is who I am. This is my personality. 24-7. Yeah, feel sorry for my family. And with that being said, goodbye and good night, dwellers.